Tomorrow, tomorrow's definitely coming. So we're about 18 miles in, just come down from here into this valley, crisscrossing the stream, heading down uh, grass track <coughs> to the aid station. I'll stop running because it's a bit shaky. Uh, at 22 miles. So. Yeah, I locked uh, my iPhone, got a bit wet, and uh, the keypad was pressing its buttons for a while, so I've been locked out of it for an hour. So. Yeah, we've been up there and it's been, it's been absolutely glorious to be honest. Sun to come out. It's absolutely stunning. Crack it fella quickly. There you go, look at that. Yeah, yeah, right. It's absolutely stunning. It's a bit chilly, but uh, the bogs are pretty cold. Beat the thought out now. It's just beautiful. Yeah. It's been a bit of a beast this hill because we've come down there into the valley but uh, what goes down let's go back up so here we go uh, approaching the first checkpoint now at 22 let's have a bit of soup a cup of coffee with a bit of luck like, dying for a coffee and, uh, yeah and i can see we're off over i can just see people in that peak of the distance over there looks like we're heading that way but uh Definitely a, a lot more walking, hiking, speed marching if you like, than I thought. There's been some tricky sections, but uh, yeah, uh, 38 miles to go at this point. So let's keep digging in. Sun's coming out now and I've got, got my music on, even though I'm not allowed. Yeah, I've got my music on, so I've got a nice podcast on the go. 90s music, 90s podcast. Oh, look at it. I hope this comes out on camera. Right, that's uh, through the first aid station, 22 miles. Topped all my waters up, had an extra water. I haven't had too much today, even though I'm trying. <coughs> Made hot warm soup. And uh, had some potatoes salted potatoes as well, new potatoes cooked, and a chump on them as well. Um, just checked my watch, 
I'm at 48% so the next aid station being 40 miles it's going to be close to dying so I have put a battery pack in so I'll have to hang around just to charge it a little bit I don't want to go into the night with no GPX so probably 20 minutes or so uh, it is what it is. So this is cool. We're just uh, running along and it's all uh, uh, stone blocks put in. So I think that is the Cheviot Hills over there and it drops down onto Hollybush over there. So there's a lot of climbing to do yet. Uh, we're just, oh there we are. We're at marathon distance now and that's five and a half hours. So just give you a quick pan around. This is a tough race. I am absolutely gassed. So I've got a, a marathon and a park run to go. But uh, yeah, we're heading that way. But I just wanted to show this. It's pretty cool. Just run, running along. <clears throat> so why don't we just have a little walk? Just explain my uh, lead into this race. So five weeks ago, we finished an ultra marathon. South Downs Way, uh, it's about 50k. Took a week off after that. But on the weekend, uh, after, I was doing some stuff in the garden and had a bit of a mishap with some uh, some logs and I broke my hand. So I fractured my uh, fifth metatarsal in my left hand. So it was a trip to A&E and uh, a plaster cast. So over the last four weeks, I've had two plaster casts on. Uh, and that came off last Monday, but I, I did keep the cast and modified it a bit so I could slip it on and off. So if I'm out and about, I've been wearing it and uh, overnight sleeping. So the last four weeks, I've just been on the cross trainer in the gym, which uh, fries my head if I'm perfectly honest after an hour or so and a stair climber to get some elevation in. So it hasn't been the best lead into this race. I'm coming in a bit undercooked, but I bet I guess it's better than coming in injured, isn't it? The uh, the pole system I use, if I just stop a second, try and show you. I wear I wear a mitt on my hand and if I clip in all the weight is on my thumb in this area. So the broken bit which is the bottom side there, it doesn't actually take any weight. So I'm actually going okay. I have got the plaster with me, but uh, I'm okay. Which is why I, if I do tumble over, uh, which has happened three times now, I always tuck and roll and land on my right hand side. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely, uh, I am struggling a bit, mentally a little bit. I, yeah, my head's not in the right place. I'm. Uh, just doubting myself on my eyes. Whatever, let's move on. So I'll just spin the camera around if I can. Hope this comes out on camera. It's just bloody beautiful. It really is. It's just so picturesque. But yeah, keep on trucking. But yeah, that's the lead in basically to uh, to this race. So moving forward that's the plan that's the strategy today is keep moving forward uh, trying to keep my heart rate as low as I can not entering into the red at all or even amber really I need to stay aerobic if possible so we're just coming to the peak of this hill here up high now there is a splattering of hail we had a little shower earlier on uh, I could see it was gonna pass quickly so I didn't drag anything out of my kit. Just kept pushing and uh, yeah, sure enough, the sun came back up. It's chilly up here now though. And uh, I, think, I think I'm hoping this is a bloody top. Just past um, the lady, she's uh, a bit goosed. <laughs> I understand, I get it. We're uh, 32 miles in, six hours, that's basically seven hours in now. Loving the grind. Just a quick update for you. The uh, visibility's closed right in. 
probably 200 meters. Uh, it is definitely sleeting. Um, I've put my, turn the camera around. I've got my uh, weatherproof jacket on now. I just broke it out of the bag. So it's a good opportunity to grab a, a peanut butter nut butter. Uh, so I'm just gonna, we're up pretty high at the moment. Um, I think we're gonna summit the highest summit in about the next mile and a quarter. Uh, and then there's a, a dip down and then you go up another one then so the highest summit the Chivia is about 850 meters I think so it's my well friends it's just a little bit less than Penavan we do drop down and we go back up another one then I think that's around about 650 so I think oh, that is the two major climbs up the way but we're back on this sort of stone stuff it's runnable so I'm gonna crack on do you know what? I'm gonna say it's bloody snowing. <coughs> Probably glitch. Woohoo! Spoke to someone. Mile to the sun at Tube yet. Oh, this is proper. There we are. I've just summited the uh, the Tube yet. Uh, we're on our way back down now. It's not very runnable, unfortunately. It's just this harder. Uh, one minute your pole just disappears. It's, um, it's not the nicest, but hey, the sun's got better. This section I'm coming through now, between uh, the Chiviet and the next hill, is known as the Borgie bit, I believe. And just when you, I'm not going to swear, just when you think it's runnable, I'm going up, I can run this. You can't. You can't, it's just. Just start to get, a, just start moving a little bit. And it's just, oh, there you go. The wet one. You just can't run. It's just slow going. All right. Just wanted to ramp, really. Got no Gallagher in my ears. Just, ah, uh, it's cleared again. It's beautiful still. But I just wanted to rant. There we are, rant over. Right, so it's about 20 past two. I uh, was just going up Hollybush, I believe, which is another big one, as I just said, said about earlier on. Uh, sunset is at 3.40, I believe. So the, if I can get up this one now and off before it gets dark, I'm into the aid station there and I can pick up my second head torch. The one I've got is perfectly fine. I just uh, pick up the second one. That'll be 40 miles, or 42 miles, I think. Uh, no, 40 miles, yeah, it'd be 40 miles. Uh, just mentally, I just feel if I can get it up and off this one before sunset, or before it gets dark, get down into the aid station, just charge my watch a little bit, get some food in me, and then it doesn't seem so bad the last whatever it is, 15, 16 miles. Uh, just give it a little view around. It doesn't seem so bad just mentally, but uh, I don't know. Just mental checklists, I guess. But uh, yeah, still moving slowly. This uh, header, as soon as you get any momentum, you just, just gotta stop again, unfortunately. There we are, you crack on, right. Up this one we go. Okay, so we've hit the trig. So we've just summited this one. Uh, the time, just let me just check. The trig point now, time is half past two. So it didn't take me as long. A couple of weary runners come over the fence, hear that? Uh, snow's come back. So uh, yeah, it's starting to cool down again. But uh, onwards we go. <clears throat> right, there's another one summited. So that is uh, Cruchette's Law, Cruchette's Law. 650 meters. Uh, they did tell us there'd be an aid station at 40 miles. I'm past that now, and I just want a cup of coffee. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the mist is rolling back in. The sun's gone behind the clouds now. Uh, just keep on trucking. Have the grind. Just uh, come off 
the latest hill. Uh, just met some of the uh, mountain rescue guys. So he's told me the aid station is about, I think about miles on the road. So literally just on a corner, hopefully. So uh, to show you what the, I'll take this path all day long. I can actually move on it. So talking to which, hopefully uh, see you on the other side of the aid station. Right, just left aid station two. I don't want to get my feet wet again. Uh, two cups of coffee, a shit ton of uh, Jaffa cakes, uh, a fair a litre of water, filled up my water up jacks as well. Stood by the fire and had a warm up. The warm coat's gone on. Uh, I got quite cold standing around then, but my watch is up to 50% now. Uh, so that should see me to the end but you've got to have it for the route otherwise uh, it's, it's, as you can see it's dark now we just get over this stite oh, yeah. legs are a bit stiff I'm just going to walk probably 500 metres just get uh, get my legs moving again Got a full jacket on now. So, uh, yeah, right, cheers. So, just to check in, it's hard. There is no path here. And, like, just disappear into it. It's just slow going. We're inside of his heather or something. But at the moment, my world is this light beam. Uh, a bit of an honesty check or an honesty moment. They told us the checkpoint was at mile 40, so I was out of water, out of uh, hydration and liquid feed, and uh, I was getting really, really low. And I was thinking, God, where the bloody hell is this checkpoint? And then when I saw the uh, mountain rescue guys like I said oh I can see a farm in distance is that it nope it's closer than that happy days got to the farm that was closer he only gave me the deaf info didn't he probably not his fault just got it wrong I stopped in the uh, aid station as you, you're aware and I had two coffees a litre of water and I've come out and to be honest I felt, I was feeling really good, really good. I'm making loads of ground and passing people uh, that passed me in the aid station, to be honest, because I was charging, I wasn't thinking much. But yeah. But yeah, everything is in this little beam of it. Yeah, there we go. I'm afraid to look at my watch it's on countdown now and next time I look at it I don't want it to be single figures to be honest so uh, saying single figures and I've done that in an hour in a race before now it's, just, it's definitely going to be two hours minimum so a little bit longer up here yet got the Spotify wrapped uh, 2022 playlist going does all the best music so lots of stereophonics the way he says oh god yeah yeah but it's proper dark up here proper proper dark it's just no light pollution it's uh i know it's probably a bit boring i've been on god been on for two and a half minutes but uh there we are let's keep going Right, update. I've had to keep uh, keep my eye on the ball so much just to stay upright, to be honest. It's, we've had a, a nice runnable section for about four miles. That's gone now. Uh, they chucked a real beast of a hill at the end. I tell you. The good news is, though, I'm about two miles away from the finish. I think I can see, even see the 
Cathy will be finished. I hope, I hope so. I'm absolutely dead in now. Uh, just spoke to Helen. She said it's nine o'clock. So six and six is twelve. Six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. That's fifteen hours. Fifteen hours is going to be a bit longer than that. But oh, where am I going? Shit, my watch is dead. Right. I gotta go a minute. I gotta find out where I'm going. So I'm just going to interrupt for a second. Um, so the last eight miles of the race um, were a bit more runnable um, and I just wanted to keep moving just to get it finished. So um, I was concentrating on just staying upright, to be honest. It was very wet and slippery. Uh, there were gr um, grass tracks, muddy tracks. So I didn't, um, didn't take too much footage at the back end of the race because I just wanted to get it done. But as you can see in that last clip there, um, at two miles to go, my watch died. Now I had no warning my watch was going to go. It didn't tell me it was uh, low battery. So there were two guys just up ahead who I'd been using, to be perfectly honest, as just um, as, as as my rabbits. I just kept them uh, in view um, and I just followed them in. I could just switch off a little bit and just listen to my music. I was I was done in mentally. Um, so. I needed to keep these last two guys in sight. They were just putting on me a little bit and I could just make out the head, the headlights, uh, the head torches. Try to sort of try and push on as much as I could because I, I knew we were coming into some sort of civilization, but I didn't know where we were coming down into. Um, I didn't know if it was a cafe or the village or wherever. As we came onto the tarmac, we were actually going through Ingram village itself. And there was a sharp left. Now I had no nav on, so I didn't know where I was going. So I had to follow these guys in. Luckily, uh, I managed to catch where they went. Um, I was a bit concerned I was going to get caught out and end up somewhere. I wasn't quite sure where I was going. So I managed to follow them in. And then there were a couple of yellow signs there, which actually guided me through a little wooded section and back to the uh, back to the Ingram Cafe itself and to the finish. And um, yeah, let's pick it up there, shall we? Oh, God.